Now we're going to create a guessing game in Haskell where we have a secret number and the user guesses a value between 1 and 10. If they guess the same value that is our secret number, they win. If they don't get it, they lose. And eventually we'll put a guess limit on it. So after three guesses, if they don't get it right, they lose. So let's get started. We're inside of this main equals do function. So inside of our main function, we're just going to put run game. And that's a function that we're going to call above here. And that's going to run the logic for our game. So we're going to say run game. And right now run game is going to put or print something to the console. So we're going to say IO. And notice it has no parameters, right? So this is our function signature. And then underneath, we can say run game equals do. And we're going to do something here, right? So we want to get a user input and see if it equals our secret number. So we also need to assign a secret number. Let's start with the secret number. Let secret number equal. And this is actually going to be a number as a string. Because when we get user input, it always comes in as a string. And we need to compare a secret number to the user guess, right? So five, five as a string looks like this. Five as a number or an integer looks like that. We want five as a string because that's how it'll come in in our user guess. So let secret number equal five. Then underneath, we want to get the user guess. So we can say put string ln to kind of prompt the user what to enter. And we'll say enter a guess between one and 10. Then underneath, we're going to reach out to the console and allow them to enter something. And we're going to store it in a variable. And we're going to call that variable user guess. And we use this arrow pointing to the left to store the variable in user guess, or to store what they enter into user guess. And we use the build in get line function. So this is a Haskell function that reaches out, gets something from the console, and then stores it in user guess. So now we have our secret number and our user guess. And we want to say if the secret number is equal to the user guess, then you win. Else, we want to give you another chance and just keep giving you more chances until you get it right. And then we'll worry about a guess limit. So the first thing is, right, so we can say if user guess double equals the secret number, if the user guess is equal to the secret number, then we can print or put, because it's a string, put string ln you win. Else, that means if it's not equal to the secret number, then we want to start the game over and give them another chance to guess the secret number, right? And we need this to start the game over, we need to run this game again. So we can call this run game function. And it'll start over and allow the user to enter another guess and check if that one's right. So else we can just do run game, control s to save. So let's go through the logic one more time. So main calls this function, right? So here we go. Secret number is five. We ask the user for input. If the user input is equal to the secret number five, then we print you win. Else, we want the user to be able to guess a new number and try and get it right. So else, we call run game from inside of itself. So we go back to the top of run game, and we do everything again. Same thing. If they get it right, they win. Else. We keep going to the top of run game until they get it right. So let's try that. Control S to save. Now we're going to go over to our WinGHCI, reload, and run. OK, so let's enter some wrong guesses first. Three. Nope, it goes back to the top. Four, seven. And we know five is the secret number, so five. And we get you win. And the program ends, right? It doesn't go back to the top of run game. So now let's add our guess limits. So now let's add a guess limit to our game. So the user can guess wrong answers three times. And if they guess up to up two wrong, that's fine. But if they guess three wrong, then we need to print something like, sorry, you lose. And to add that, we're going to add a parameter to our run game function. It's going to be an integer. So when we call run game, we're going to call it with the number zero. And zero is the number of incorrect guesses. When they start the game, they have no incorrect guesses. And then as the game goes, we add one each time. So run game now has a parameter here of zero, and we're going to call that parameter incorrect guesses. And then up here in our function signature, we need to add that to it. So incorrect guesses or zero incorrect guesses is an int. And then we can say what we're going to return, which is we're going to put or print something to the console, which is this IO with the 
parentheses, right? So run game with an int as the parameter, and then we return by putting or printing something to the console, or we call run game again, which eventually does put or print something to the console. Now to make this work, we need to reorganize our game in here a little bit. So I'm actually going to change this around. So our else is now going to put you in. Or our else will actually do a couple things. So we'll leave that blank for now. And we're gonna initially start by saying, I'm gonna get rid of all this and we'll see why in just a minute. If the number of incorrect guesses is three, then we wanna put, sorry, you lose. So we'll start with that. If incorrect guesses equals three, double equals three, then put to the console, put string ln, sorry, comma, you lose frowny face. Sorry, you lose frowny face. So if incorrect guesses is three, that's the thing we wanna immediately check. We wanna check these first, because if it's incorrect, we don't wanna allow the user to put in a fourth number. We immediately wanna say, hey, sorry, you lose the game, right? And if that's not true, if the incorrect guesses isn't three yet, and they still have more guesses to be, there's still more guesses to be had, then we can say else do, and do allows us to write multiple things under this else, right? And here is where we're gonna prompt the user for their next guess. So we can say put string ln, enter a guess between one and 10. And then we can get the user input. So we can say user guess, just like we did before. And we're gonna say get line, which gets the guess and stores it in this user guess variable. And now we can say, now we can check the user guess to the secret number, right? So if user guess equals the double equals the secret number, then we can say, yay, you win, exclamation point. Else, we wanna call our run game function again. And so we're gonna say run game. Else, we wanna start the game over with a new number of incorrect guesses. So zero is the parameter that came in first, right? And now we want it to be one. So we can say incorrect guesses plus one. So we're gonna run game again with this whole thing and zero plus one is one. So incorrect guesses becomes this whole thing, which is one. So we run it again. If incorrect guesses is three, it's not. So else we prompt the user for another guess. If it's right, they win. Else we run the game with one plus one. So one plus one is two. So incorrect guesses, this whole thing be now becomes incorrect guesses, which is this becomes two then. So we run it with two. Um, if it's three, which it's not, we lose. Else, we give the user another chance. If they get it right, they win. Else, we do it with two plus one, which is three, right? So we run the game with three. Um, and then three equals three, so they've had three chances. Sorry, you lose. Let's give it a try. Control S to save. Head over to our console. Reload. Whoop. Couldn't match. Type empty list with io expected io char in the expression okay so let's see what we did wrong ah okay so if we're looking down the page here on line 13 right we're missing a put string right this is expecting us to either put something or print something to the console and here we said hey we're going to return a string but what we wanted to do was put something to the console. So let's do that. Put string ln, control S to save, and now we should work. But let's go back and kind of see what happened. So it wanted us to put something to the console. And what it actually got was a list of char, which is another way to say a string, which is which was this, right? We said it was returning this, which is a string, and we needed to actually put something. We needed to put something to the console. So when we add that in, it becomes this IO. So that's a good kind of uh, error lesson there to go along with this. And now it should work. So we're now putting it to the console. So save it, refresh, reload, and let's run it. Three, nope, six, nope, let's get them all wrong this time. Seven, no, and we get sorry you lose. And notice it doesn't run it again. It closes the program, which is perfect. Now let's get one right. So let's get one correct. So let's run it again. And let's do enter guess three. Nope. 
Uh, let's do six, no, and let's get it right on the third time. So five, and it puts, yay, you win. Great, and let's get it right on the first time. Let's do one more, run it, enter a guess, five, and it gets, yay, you win. So that's our guessing game.